there is a very specific reason why I'm not emotional. Very specific. The emotions are the number one way that we manipulate one another. Number one. Whether we realize it or not, when we're trying to influence behavior of others, which we can never do, we just wish we could, then we do so by <clears throat> trying to get a response. We're fishing for a response. And a good way to tell if this is being attempted on you is to examine the interaction that you're having with somebody and find out if you feel compelled to give a certain response or if you feel open to respond any way you choose. If you feel compelled to give a certain response, then guess what? There's a small problem. And that small problem is that you cannot manufacture emotions. That's the one thing you can't lie about. And if you're manufacturing your emotion, or pretending to, you're telling a lie to yourself and to the other person who wants something. So, so when they're eliciting the response, they're asking you to give something that you cannot give. And when you attempt to give them what they want, when it's not something that arises naturally in you, you're attempting to give something that you don't have. So it's bad for both parties to do this. It's not healthy. If I thought it were healthy, then I would participate in it. I don't think it's healthy, so I don't participate in it. Not to mention that I went through it personally for 12 years, on the receiving end mainly. And I'm not interested in doing that again. It's a pretty well-known fact in the seller's world, in the buying and selling world, that people buy based on emotion 100% of the time, and then they rationalize that emotional decision afterward. Why is this? Why do people buy based on emotion and then rationalize that emotional choice afterwards? Because we actually know, even though we may not tell ourselves this, we know that our emotions are the truest part of us. Because they can't be manipulated. They can't, you can't lie with your emotion. It springs up as it does, and you feel one way or you feel a different way. You can sit there and rationalize it all day and talk about, oh, this motion means this or it means that or blah, 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 but the feeling is the feeling.
and the manipulations will continue, of course, but you don't have to remain a party to them if you don't wish to. You can become knowledgeable of what's going on and free yourself from that. It doesn't mean that you stop being emotional, it just means that you stop trying to give something that doesn't exist, and therefore you become more free and more honest.